the next problem we are going to solve this that is a problem that is analysis of plate plate with notches as shown figure analyze the plate with FA software okay and then the property of the material are given the Jenks modulus 210 GP and Poisson's ratio that is mu is equal to 0.3 here we required another parameter that is for geometry of the plate it is thickness of plate that is equal to t equal to 10 mm so this is the geometry of the plate which is fixed at one end this radius arc r5 total height is 40 width is 100 this circle is situated at 50 x direction and 20 y direction of radius 7.5 so first we just create a geometry so just as this procedure go to an ANSYS multiphysics then preprocessor go to modeling create key points then inactive CS so first key point is at the zero region zero zero so either put or leave as it is apply second key point is at 20 so 20 apply third key point is at that third key point we have to create it is this one so that is it is 25x and minus 5 so 25x and y is minus 5 so okay so these three key points are created it is 1 2 and 3 now what we have to do instead of creating that is instead of creating all these key points we just take a reference of this three key points and copy it so for this just go to copy key points now suppose I have to copy this key point 3 that means this key point 3 at this position so this distance is 50 because this 5 and this 5 gets minus from 60 so 60 minus 10 becomes 50 so this key point number 3 is transferred to the 50 direction 50 x direction so the key point is selected apply and here it is x distance y distance and z distance so we have to give the x coordinate that is x offset so which, which is equal to 50 so okay so now 3 is copied to 4 then next again copy this 2 to the 60 that is this 2 second key point is copied to the 60 so that is copy key points to apply and the distance is here now 60 okay so this key point is created again we have to copy this 4 key point to the 20 that is this key point to the 20 so that is again select copy key points this key point apply which is the distance is 20 so okay now next we have to copy the same key point in a downward direction of depth that is height is 40 so all this key point is transferred to the 40 distance so select copy key points so this one second fifth and sixth are transfer to the 40 distance that is this key points this one this one this one and this one to the 40 that is this location so we selected key points apply and here it is x is 0 and only y is minus 40 so okay now key points are get copied then again 3 and 4 we have to copy at this location at this location that is here this 3 is copy here and this 4 is co get copied here so copy 3 and 4 apply that is the distance is now minus 30 
minus 30. So key points are get copied. Now we have to create a circle. For circle, we have to mark one key point over here. Okay. So just go to create areas circle solid circle. So first for that solid circle, suppose we define WPX and WPY. Instead of doing this, just create a key point here and select that key point as a center. So cancel it. Okay. So I just created here one key point. So go to create inactive CS. Then what are the number that is after 12, which is 13. Here it is 12 last. So we define the 13 key point. So X is 50 and Y is minus 20. Here it is. X is 50 and Y in minus 20 because xy is here so that y, y is minus 20 apply so key point is created okay now create a circle now create area circle solid circle from this and the radius is equal to radius is 7.5 okay so this is created now next we have to create the area at outside position so create area by lines so first create line and lines straight line from this to this this to this this to this and here it is here there is arc is present so we have to create arc so okay now create arc now again to create arc there is a one method so create lines arc choose by end key points and radius so when this first dialog box is open then we have to choose two end points that is suppose we are if we have to create it here so this one and this one apply now we have to define the center position. Now if you refer the figure, the center for this arc is over here. Again center for this arc is over at this side. Center for this arc is at bottom side and again center for this arc is at bottom side. So we have to give a center. So we define, we choose these two key points and center is in this side. So choose any one of the key points which lie on upside in this direction suppose we choose 5 apply now define the radius which is given 5 okay now this arc is created so similar way in this position by end key points so select the key point through which we have to create arc so this one and this one apply so the center is in this direction so suppose you select this key point whatever you choose you can select also this one and this one also but it should be in upside so apply again radius remains same ok again we have to create the bottom side arc so same position same method then select this starting this starting apply then the center for this is in this direction it is over here. You select any one of the key points. Suppose you select this, apply. Radius remains same, apply. Again, this one, this one, apply. Center is over. Suppose here, apply. Radius remains same. Okay. So this is our complete geometry. Now we have to create the area by using these lines. So go to create areas arbitrary by lines. So pick all lines. Okay, now area is created. Now go to plot, multi plot. Now we have, what we have to do? Here is a circular pocket that is like this. So we have to subtract this area. So go to create. Oh, sorry, go to modeling, operate, booleans. 
subtract areas so select the area from which we have to delete this area so this is the base area apply now which area we have to delete it that is subtracted this one is middle one so okay now the complete geometry is created fit now again this is only plane if you see in, in a isometric view it acts as a only x and y direction that is plane of paper we have to provide a thickness also so again go to front view provide a thickness so thick for thickness we have to first define a element type so for this type of plate problem we have to take element type add element add solid that is plane 183 so select this node this plane this element okay and here it is for that we have to define a thickness so just after selecting element go to option and change here plane strikes with thickness so that it's okay clothes now define real constant in terms of thickness which is given equal to 10 so add edit add for this element okay and here it is 10 okay clothes now just define perform machine before that define the material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic then the material property are given 210 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 so 210 into e raised to 3 and the Poisson's ratio is 0.3 okay close this okay now the modeling part and preprocessor part is over now we have to perform meshing it is in meshing now this area is critical area okay so first go to we have to perform the size control so size control manual size areas peak areas so this area is peak apply element edge length suppose we define element edge length is equal to 2 so okay then next go to mesh after that mesh we have to perform meshing of this so go to area now as this is a critical one go to free this one okay now meshing is performed if you see the meshing is very fine okay now save db then next apply load load either you apply load from this side or in solution the Define loads is also applicable. So what you do prefer? It's depend on you. Load, define loads, apply structural displacement. Now if you refer the problem, this total side is fixed and we apply pressure on this direction. So just select apply the load that is no, displacement should be zero at this side. So for that as we know we apply the displacement and force on node point so first go to plot and plot node point so node points are selected so just move in this direction and perform zoom now again displacement on nodes now if you observe this total this side nodes are should be fixed so to select these nodes Pick box, draw one box. So nodes are selected, which is count equal to 41. Apply the all degree of freedom should be zero. Okay, so nodes are get fixed. Fit now for this side. So again, zoom move this side. Okay, now we have to apply a pressure. We apply pressure mostly on a line. Okay, now again go to plot, plot lines. So these lines are selected because we have to apply pressure on line. So load, define loads, apply structural pressure on lines. So line is selected. Apply. Now if you define 
the minus 60 that means the pressure is applicable away from the body which is given in our problem it is away from the body and if we define positive 60 here then pressure is towards the body that is in this direction but we have to apply the away from body so we put here it is minus 60 okay close okay so this is the direction of pressure now go to plot multiplot all loads and the displacement are applicable now go to solution solve current ls ok solution is done then post processor part general post processor plot result deform shape deform plus and deform ok so this is a deform shape plot control capture image we have to take a printout of this image so file is save as save this file is in your folder close this now next counter plot nodal solution counter plot nodal solution dof solution displacement vector sum ok so this is the displacement 0 0.40 0 0.0468 at this which is red zone then next plot control capture image we have to take a save this file because we have to take printout then next list result nodal solution dof solution displacement vector sum so that is this displacement this displacement in a table format so okay so these are the displacement okay again file save as in, in your folder close this then again the reaction solution reaction solution all items okay this is the reaction solution node wise okay close this then we have to take a element table data but for element table data so element table data we do not consider for a plate problem so this is the complete solution of our plate analysis of this problem